although it could be said Queen Elizabeth II has lived a life of privilege during her six decades plus in the job, it hasn't always been plain sailing. The Queen has done remarkably well for a person who was not born to rule and was brought to the throne by a scandal that rocked the monarchy. Her Majesty has also weathered her own personal struggles and scandals during her reign. Royal feud, key differences between Prince Charles and Prince Andre. Royal feud, why Andrew differs from Edward and Charles because he Throughout her reign, Elizabeth II has made countless mistakes, some of which threaten the future of the royal family. That said, she has also learned a great deal from them. While the Queen was an absent mother, Her Majesty knows that motherhood should have been more important than her royal duties. According to the Daily Mail, when the Queen gave Kate Wynne's letter CBE, she asked the British actress if she liked her job. Ms. Winslet replied that she does, but she loves being a mother more. Without any hesitation, the Queen replied, yes, that's the only job that matters. In documentary CNBC meets the Duke of York, James Whitaker, a royal correspondent said, the problem with all the Queen's children is that they were treated with kid gloves by the staff and certainly by their parents. I think one of the biggest faults the Queen has is that she believes her children can do no wrong and never have done any wrong. I think that is why we are seeing so many problems in their marriages, because they have been brought up to believe they are almost perfect. Which is, of course, nonsense. Mr. Whitaker concluded, all the royal children have been spoilt all their lives, I mean, the Queen and Prince Philip I'm sure would not concede this. The love life of her son Charles, Prince of Wales, the heir apparent, and his string of romances had failed to end with marriage and the birth of a second in line to the throne. When he did finally marry Diana Spencer in 1981 the marriage faltered. Princess Margaret, Queen Elizabeth II's sister and only sibling, married photographer Anthony Armstrong Jones in 1960 after ending what was considered a scandalous relationship with divorced war hero, Peter Townsend. According to history, Margaret's marriage to Armstrong Jones was strained thanks to drug and alcohol use, along with adultery. The two ultimately divorced in 1978, making Princess Margaret the first senior member of the royal family to get a divorce since 1901. Prince Andrew, Queen Elizabeth II's third child, married Sarah Ferguson in 1986, but the marriage only lasted six years. The couple separated in 1992, the same year as Prince Charles and Princess Diana, and the year Princess Margaret and Anthony Armstrong Jones officially divorced. The Queen called 1992 her Horribilis. The monarchy was deeply unpopular at the time, sin is irrelevant, and a drain on the public purse during a time of recession. <laughs>